I love daytime games. You know why? Why? Because I'm gambling a game. But, th- I mean, you can't gamble at night? Yeah, but I like gambling during the day. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been able to stay Why limit yourself to the night night years. What's up? Uh, the Celtics and the Knicks went to double overtime the other night. And the next morning, my boyfriend was like, I was really sad you were asleep because I was freaking out. Oh, it was a great game. a great game. That was, was a great like, game. I went to bed three hours before it started. Yeah. The only thing. <laughs> it started at like six. I went to bed at 730 last night. Why? I am, wow. I'm serious. I Are fell asleep serious? on my couch watching okay. Columbo. No. You know why? Because I'm so ready You're for daylight savings. You're 20-something. No, we, we, it's saving right around time. the corner. It's, it's this weekend, this weekend right? Yeah. I've, my schedule has gone back. Like, every single morning, I go back a minute, and then the next morning, a minute, and then I keep waking up earlier and earlier and earlier. This morning, I woke up, woke up at, like, 545. My dog's asking me for dinner at 3 p.m. Like, we need the reset. We need to go an hour forward. It'll make our schedules normal. Because you're watching so much Columbo, are you yourself becoming a 77-year-old? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's not Columbo. It's not Columbo, Mike. It's this show. She was supposed to be the breath of fresh air, the young person, and within, what, a year? We've rotten her exactly. all the way down. Now she's an 80-year-old woman spent, watching Columbo I've fall asleep on her couch. i hours with Greg Cody in the last two years. <laughs> that's, all it, that's all it took. I mean, you guys rub off on me, too. You're all a little older than me. But really, it's just the uh, osmosis of being around Greg and Poppy and Dan and <laughs> Stu and Mike and Roy. When Whoa. are you doing this segment with well, my father where you and my father just talk about Columbo? I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I was thinking we could <laughs> know do... how much it hurts to include me in that I'd group. pay money. <laughs> you, you, you just... Congratulations, <laughs> Mike. Want... You got Poppy, you Greg, and me. It hurt haircut me. to be dragged it, it, into it, that it group. It hurt me to be dragged into that group. <laughs> Roy's going to kill me tomorrow. Roy's, Roy loves being in that group. Yeah. God. Roy likes being the old guy. Yeah. He likes to play older than what and he is. Far too much money on my shoes to be included in this group. I, I, Mike, you've never I been mean, older. Group, you've never I'm been older not. than sitting next to me at Cocaine Bear saying, I don't know how they're going to pull this off where Isaiah Whitlock is O'Shea Jackson <laughs> in the future. I've also thought, never been higher. I thought he was, I swear to God, I thought he was joking. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, you know, like O'Shea you is lighter. That, type that you get sweaty? <laughs> no, no. And, <laughs> and no Isaiah Whitlock was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I think I think my the next witchy. move is to stop doing Formula One, and I'll just do Columbo of the day every day. And oh. Instead of it being a minute, slow, it's, it's five hours long. I want, it's the slowest minute. It's longer Columbo. than the actual. And then, episode. then what do you think? It's over. Just, just one, more, one more, thing. more thing. Just one more thing. The, how much? You, how much Columbo is there in the Peacock Library? Oh my God! Endless. So much Columbo. The episodes are lo- they're feature length films. Some of them. Can you do? Can you give me a Peter Falk? Uh. He, I gotta mess up my hair. I gotta like look all disheveled. She gets have, like, method. A cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. like it's yeah. it takes a minute. Let okay. me work on this, and I'll get back to you tomorrow with my Peter. Falk. Like the a ne- half a Gruden face. The next yeah. thing is gonna be Peter Falk as Bane. Just want you to know that. Just one more thing. <laughs> I would have killed my wife too. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, now we're gonna start recording the post game. Right? Ah shit. <laughs> It's almost my bedtime. Let's hurry up. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did have hold on. You know what I spent my night doing last night? I was watching CONCACAF Champions League. Oh, man. You guys talked about that today. Dude, CONCACAF Champions League, not enough people know about it because even if you're... Because soccer's dead? No. Oh. Well, I, so CONCACAF Champions League is a lot like <laughs> UEFA Champions League. <laughs> In that it's called Champions League. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I follow. <laughs> that's about where the similarities that, end. Where they oh, and, end. And also they're ostensibly playing soccer, although not always. Right. So I love this analysis. By the way. <laughs> so there are about four MLS teams that make five. Like five because that's right. Canada has their own Canada's Cup. What? That... All levels of professional football are eligible for Correct. Uh, but either but any of the three MLS teams usually win it. Usually win. But That's there's like that one random year where Edmonton makes the final. Yeah. You, you might have Edmonton in the Champions League. That's their FA Cup, basically. Yeah. So, you know what the, the UEFA, Canadian Championship. The UEFA Champions League gets uh, champions, and in some, in the major leagues uh, cases, mm-hmm. like the Bundesliga and the, the La Liga and the Premier League, you get four yeah, some, you get uh, licenses, right? Yeah, like you the, get four yeah. automatic berths yeah. into the Champions League, and then you drop those into groups and you try to decide who's the best club team of this qualifying region. CONCACAF Champions League has the exact same idea. Okay. However, the level of soccer in Mexico and in MLS 
is there's a wide gulf between that and the Guatemalan champion. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you have a scenario in which the MLS champion has to travel to Costa Rica to take on that regional champion in the same kind of cell. There's groups and then knockout mm -hmm. stages, so on and so forth. And I'd miss this tournament because it's so wacky. Even if you're – most MLS fans that I know don't follow this at all. They're aware of it, but it's not like this big reward. The big trophy is the MLS Cup. And what happened last night was so concacaf we We came out of the gates hot. It's just, it's the Star Wars cantina of soccer. It's it just bizarre shit happens because you're in countries in the world where they're, they're not traditional soccer powers or they are, and they just play the game in a completely different way. They just kick the shit out of each other. We, There's awful pitches and old stadiums. Oh, and so we it's begin, just, it's my youth. We begin last night with the first game of CONCACAF Champions League, which took place in the Dominican Republic between two teams that are not from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Right, so uh, the uh, champions of the Caribbean Club Championship are Violet AC from Haiti. Nice. Who have not played a domestic league game since 2021, albeit for what? reasons that are pretty messed up because of the political unrest and the issues in Haiti. They have not had a domestic league in Haiti in a year and a half, but they're in the Champions League. They're in the Champions League, why? Because they won the Caribbean Club Championship. When? May of 2022. They have not played a soccer game since then. A competitive soccer game they have not played since then. So they, they couldn't play it in Haiti, so they had to play it on the island in the Dominican Republic. And they're taking on Austin FC, which yeah. is uh, you know really good last year. Yeah. One of the crown the jewels of the MLS. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. And Austin FC hops on, onto a bird, flies in the DR. Uh -huh. There's a tree behind the goal. Yes. <laughs> there's, about, there's 100 people there, and they're all playing music. There's a gigantic yeah. tree. I, there is, like, Dude. the tree of life is behind <laughs> this goal. It's hanging over the, the goal. Austin FC gets punched in the face. They get throttled. They lose three nil. They lost oh. three nil. I mean, the other team was well-rested, though. So, <laughs> at this point... All like so far, I'm like, wow, we're we're so concacaf. We're we back. can't possibly be more concacaf. <laughs> we then turn our attention to the Philadelphia Union that are traveling where, Woody, to El Salvador to take on Alianza. And so, and, and this this game is being played on a mud patch. There are barely any grains of grass on this field, and so it's a terrible game. It's nil nil, 65 minutes into the game, and then Mike, we had an interruption we in did. play. If you were watching the television broadcast, you see one uh, by the corner flag. There was just this uh, uh, this thing that was running around the bleachers, and you were trying to figure out what it was because the picture in Concacaf Champions League isn't stellar. It's not 8K. No, they're not necessarily <laughs> wired for that in these stadiums. There's barely grass on the field. <laughs> <laughs> As Woody mentioned, around minute 65, there is a stoppage in play. The stoppage in play is a dog runs onto the field. <laughs> And takes the ball. <laughs> this is soccer, Mike. Is, yeah. A dog runs onto the field God, and takes Soccer's the ball. back. I swear to God. And all this is happening on FS1 yeah. and, and FS2. And through that, and it's just, it's hard to find. The picture is grainy. I was watching Last of Us, and I got to tell you, I wasn't at all surprised that a dog was running onto the field in in El Salvador during CONCACAF Champions League. That was electric. When I tell you 12-year-old Amin is just ecstatic, this is this is what I grew up on right here, man. It's football at its roots. It's, man. Yes. Like a, a dog absconding with the ball mid-game. And what was weird is no one was phased by that. Yeah. Even the Philadelphia Union. We're like, this is normal. <laughs> this is not even unexpected. We this had is seen, what I was prepared for. We had been expecting it for 60 minutes once we first saw the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the side like, you know, this is what's yeah. about to happen. The right? dog appeared like he was a 65th minute sub. <laughs> and the best part is uh, an official kind of trudges onto the field to pick up the dog. And the dog looks so happy. So happy. It's the happiest he, looking he, dog. The dog finally got that fucking ball. <laughs> <laughs> he, was so, he was thinking about that ball for 65 minutes. So even if you don't like soccer, occasionally, Monday, uh, Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights, put on FS1 <laughs> or FS2 and get transported to a magical world of wonder in a country you've never visited. And please... Watch yourself some CONCACAF Champions League because shit like this happens 
far too regularly. What time does it start? Oh, you're asleep. <laughs> now, the, the first game is at uh, 6 p.m. tonight in Panama. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> and there's, the game's so, in Panama, but there is a less. Uh, there's a more than zero percent chance that uh, there won't be a team from Panama. 